Hi guys, Jojo Williams here. Today I want to talk to you guys about what's going on in the network marketing industry. Big shocker there, right? Today I want to talk a little bit specifically to my team and anybody out there who um, can gain from this about belief, our belief system in this industry. You know, there's always that next shiny object, that next big thing, the next, you know, get rich quick scheme going on or the next greatest product or greatest company. And, and you know, I see leaders, leaders that I followed and looked up to who in one, you know, part of my experience with them were saying real leaders don't jump ship and and then now they're promoting you can promote as many things as you want be a multipreneur and you know it's like which is it honestly which is it and what is that belief formed on here's the deal you guys I'm not trying to tell anybody in this business specifically on my team not to promote multiple companies you are grown I'm not your mama I didn't I didn't you know we didn't engage in this business partnership so that I had to take that position um, recently a few members of my team have signed up with the next greatest thing and that's cool you know and I wish that you had known that you could have talked to me about it you talk to me about anything like I'm not here to tell you what you can or cannot do um, but what I am here to do is give you advice and, and let you find your own answers and solutions so let's talk about the belief that we can be a multipreneur I'm not trying to take that belief away from you. I just want to know how you formed it. What basis, what, you know, what are you basing that belief on? What example are you using? Are you using your own example? Have you found success with going from company to company to company? I mean, if you found success doing that, I doubt that you would still be going from company to company. Are you looking at somebody up high, you know? Uh, Richie Rich who's already got enough money to throw around on multiple product, you know, projects and has a bunch of people following them. Well, they can do multipreneurship. Absolutely. Um, I'll tell you what I formed my belief on in not jumping around and not deluding myself in doing multiple projects. Um, I've looked at who's been successful in this industry and how they got there. They got there with hard work, determination, finding the right company with a product that they could truly believe in, a company that had a product that was going to last. They built um, a reputation, gathered a following, and when they had to make moves in the industry, people followed them because they believed in them because they were good leaders. And so they didn't start off doing multipreneurship and doing multiple, multiple things and get rich that way. They focused their concentration on something, worked their butt off in it for several years, and then moved on to the next thing when that thing no longer produced for them. So with that example, that's how I form my belief that I don't want to dilute my focus. You know, I found with Asante Organics, I found a company that has multiple products, everyday use. It's really easy to say to my family, hey, you're already buying these products except for the ones you buy are full of carcinogens and toxins. Check out these videos on YouTube and Netflix and you can learn a lot about what's really in these products that you're using on, you know, our family. And, and after you do that, here's my link because I've got really awesome products that you can replace those with for cents more per use and you can actually sign up as a wholesale customer and order through yourself. I mean, how cool is that? And it's a tax write-off. That's really easy to say. So I found a company that has all these things that I want in a company. Am I going to get rich overnight? No, that just doesn't happen. I don't care what company you're in. You're not going to get rich overnight. It doesn't happen. Gotta get my water and take. Um, so the example that I follow are the leaders in this industry who um, have found the right companies and worked hard and and built their success off of that. Um, I don't preach multipreneurship to my team because I don't want my team to lose focus. You know, I see people that I'm looking up to jumping on this, jumping on that, and yeah, I mean, it's disappointing for me. Honestly, it is because it makes it, you know, it's people I look up to it even, you know, for example, yesterday I almost got caught up in the next greatest thing and for about 10 minutes I was like, woohoo, and because, you know, I'm looking at people above me and they're doing this and I'm thinking, oh, and then all of a sudden it hit me like, this is too good to be true. It's free. And I'm supposedly never going to spend a dime, but I'm going to make millions. This is the one? No, that's just not going to work. So I did a little bit of homework and I, I found out about history of companies that don't actually have a product. And I just decided, why would I even want to go to all my people and pitch something else? Like, do I want to be that person who's always pitching something? I've got, hey, I got this. Oh, well, you didn't like that? I got this. I got, well, wait a minute. I thought you just said that this was it. Oh, yeah, that's that's it too, but I've got this. So 
I don't want to be that person. Um, so I I keep my focus where it's supposed to be. And like everybody else, I'm human. And once in a while, I, you know, I lose that drive and that focus because this business requires work. It requires daily, repetitive, getting involved, you know, networking, building relationships. But that's not as hard to do when we really believe in what we're doing. You know, I want to use an example that a really amazing friend and he's my brother in Christ and one of my promoters and team one love Donnie he told me a story about when he was a Boy Scout and a lesson that he learned from his his leader in Boy Scouts and I don't remember the whole story but I remember him saying have you ever tried to light a fire with a magnifying glass and I said well yeah sure I've done that he said well what'd you do to light that fire and I said well I held the magnifying glass in one place and concentrated the sunlight on some leaves and they lit on fire and he said yeah so have you ever tried just moving the magnifying glass around and I said yeah that doesn't work he said yeah exactly if you don't focus you're never gonna light that fire so for me I don't want to lose focus and I'm not gonna follow the examples set above me that in many times benefit what they're deciding to do next you know just because some of us have had great success in this industry um, and you know a lot of people look up to us as leaders doesn't mean that we're perfect it doesn't mean that we always make the right choices and it doesn't mean that all the examples that we set are the things that we tell people are benefiting the people we're telling them to I mean we can't preach one thing one day and another thing the next day and and in my book maintain credibility in that and not that that's irreversible you know I think this business is we get so caught up in sales that we you know are taught to just say say what's gonna get the people on say what's gonna get the people on you guys form your beliefs on your own research on your own homework okay look at who's been successful in this industry and then ask yourself do you have the three key beliefs that it takes to make it in any company that you're in you need three key beliefs to make it in this industry first you have to believe in the industry and you obviously do or you wouldn't be jumping from company to company to company secondly you have to believe in the company you're promoting you have to believe in the product you have to believe in the mission it's you can't go and promote something that you're not genuinely behind you know you've got to believe in that product and most importantly you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself because there's those days where things don't go the way you planned and it's a constant work and just remind yourself any job you had punching a clock for somebody else you'd have to go to work 40 hours a week eight hours a day maybe more to make a living I mean and there's no unlimited possibility for financial freedom and job optionability and all that and that but you go every day you punch that clock because you know you got to get that paycheck if you applied yourself even 50% of that in this industry and believe in yourself that if you just keep ticking away eventually you're gonna break through and you're gonna hit that gold but it's not gonna happen if you're digging 16 holes it just doesn't work that way alright guys and in closing I just want to say that if you're ever thinking about doing another opportunity and you want to talk to me about it or you've signed up with one and you want advice on you know where to go with it it doesn't matter if you're on my team talk to me about it I'm not gonna judge you I'm not gonna think you're less in or anything like that I mean come on I told you about this opportunity why would you not tell me about your opportunity we're friends we're business partners we're family you know what I mean we don't have to ha have you know things we don't tell each other because of what other people are gonna think if you're gonna spend your time in this industry worrying about what anybody thinks you're not gonna make it in this industry you can't make it in this industry being scared of what others think you're never gonna go out and pitch that way all right that's all I had to say I love you guys I love the direction I'm headed in I'm all in 150,000 percent and my focus is in Asante organics and and branding myself and I know where I'm going and I believe in what we're doing and I love you guys have a blessed day